Hi guys, welcome back to Harry Makes Up. Today I have another very requested Words of Splurge Wednesday. I have the latest launch from Hourglass, their new holiday palette, and I'm very excited to show you it. It's very beautiful, um, but let's find out if it's worth the splurge. So the first thing we have to talk about is of course the gorgeous packaging. Now the marble did draw me to this. I think the first time I saw someone, it's on someone's Instagram, I was like, ooh, that's clever. The whole marble thing is still such a big trend at the minute, both in like homewares, um, again, packaging in general. So it is beautiful. That's the size of it in my hand. So you get an idea of scope. That's it next to my head. Um, and you do get five products. So I'll do a cutaway so you can see as I'm holding this. Um, the powder is the biggest size and this one is called the Ambient Lighting Edit Surreal Light. So I have my makeup all done up to the point of powder. So the first one I'm going to go in and use is the number one finishing powder Surreal Light. Um, which is this shade here. Now, looking at it in the pan, I would say it does look like it's got shimmer in. Um, I love dim light. That is one of my favorite lighting powders ever from Hourglass. Massive fan of that. Um, but let's try this. Let's see how this fares. So I've just got a Real Techniques brush. Um, so let's use this all over first to set my makeup. Um, it is very hot in my studio today. So apologies. And I've had a cold coming back again as well. So I feel like my nose keeps going red. But again, that feels very featherweight, feather light. Um, it is definitely giving me a sheen, but it's very complementary to my foundation. The foundation I have underneath, I just put what was in my everyday makeup at the minute, which was my Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick, which I would say has a kind of dewy finish because I wanted to see if this palette would still work in harmony with a foundation um, that's dewy and not kind of lose the dewiness, but work in harmony with it. So. Again, really, really like the finish of that. It applies very silky, it feels very thin. It doesn't kind of sit in any pores or catch the foundation. So I'm gonna use it as well with a slightly smaller brush just to set under my eyes with that same powder just to see what it's like with my concealer. So let's just try using it to set because my eyes are very dark. So now when I go in under the eyes, I can see it's a bit more shimmery. <laughs> so I think when you're using the product kind of concentrated, um, got a bit of fluff there. It does pick up more of the shimmer. So my first impressions of the powder are really, really like it, but I think it's nicer not under the eyes. That's probably the one thing I would avoid with this. I would stick to something like a powder with no shimmer, or if you really want to use something illuminating, go for the normal ambient light powder um, in dim light or something like that, or even a Laura Mercier brightening powder, secret brightening powder. Um, but yeah, I do, I do like it. I do like it. It definitely is shimmery. So I feel like if you're one of those people that hate shimmer in your powder, I would maybe avoid this powder um, in the palette for setting your makeup. However, it has given me a nice dewy glow. I feel like as I turn, you can see the light reflection um, and it kind of does what you expect okay, it yeah, to. So this one is the bronzer shade. I'm gonna use that now all over. Um, I'm gonna go to a, another brush and let's try this bronzer. So it looks quite a pale bronzer. But no, no, that's nice actually. That is quite a nice color on me. I thought that in the pan it looked a lot lighter, um, but that actually does give a nice bit of bronze. I mean, it's very, it is glowy, but I think if you're buying this palette, you obviously want that glow. So it definitely ticks that box. You're definitely gonna get a very, very gorgeous glowy look. And I think especially if you have oily skin, but you want to experiment with kind of strobing or highlighting or general illumination, these kind of palettes are really good because you don't have to worry about them kind of looking wet, but you still get the illumination. Um, but they will equally look lovely on anyone with dry skin too. Now, I should point out as well, guys, that this palette is £69. So again, it ain't cheap, but I think you are getting um, a good variety of products. So for me, I always, like I love the Charlotte Tilbury um, Instant Palette, but I always wish it had just a powder in it. If it had her airbrush powder in as well, I feel like I would have then literally needed like a lip gloss and a mascara. Um, so I like the fact that this has the powder in, um, in terms of being the larger shade. Um, I almost wish it had been dim light though. I feel like that would have been like my dream palette if it had have had one big dim light in. So bronzer on, I'm gonna take a little bit over my nose. And what do we think? That is the bronzer. I feel like I look nice and healthy. I look nice and sheeny. Um, you can layer it well. I feel like it doesn't kind of get cakey. It feels very, very light on the skin. That's what is nice about this. There's no heaviness. Um, and I feel like even with this palette, you know, you could kind of mix around and go back to things like with the bronzer alone, you could use just this and you do technically have a highlight in it. 
However, we're gonna go full on glowy all out there. And I wanna try this pinky blush now because even when I wear a bronzer, I do like a bit of blush in it as well. So let's try it. Let's try a bit of the pink one. So that is, so the only thing I would say now is now that I've got like three layers of the shimmer on, so I've got obviously the powder, the bronzer and the blush, is it's starting just here. I can feel like it's quite yellowy gold. So if you don't like a golden tone in your illuminator, this might not be for you. If you like a more pearl finish, more of like a white kind of highlighter, then that's the only thing I would say. There's definitely a gold tone running through this, um, which is very, very pretty. And I know for me on holiday when I get a tan, that's exactly the color I like. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that as well through my temples. So it is making me look like I've been on holiday, which is nice. And then, again, we've gotta do the strobing shade, haven't we? So we've got this one here is our strobing shade, which is Stro Powder Surreal Strobe Light. And just so you know as well, the bronzer in it is called Surreal Bronze Light, and the blusher that I used, which is number four, was Blush Surreal Effect. So, this strobe, again for me, it does look more kind of like the um, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, the one that Jacqueline Hill did, it's that kind of tone. Um, but let's try it, let's see. This is, again, it does look shimmery, so, wow, this is quite, quite shimmery. I mean, I, I like shimmer, but I feel like for me, I'll be going to this palette most, I think, for the blushes and the bronzer but maybe even not together. I feel like I might, what I'll probably do is mix up how I use the palette. Um, but if you like a glow, so that is with the strobe on. I don't know if you can see it much more different compared to what it looked like before, but um, I'm glowing. <laughs> so, I mean, it is very, very beautiful. Um, and if you want to glow, that is exactly what you're gonna get with this. So that is me using the powder, the bronzer, the blusher, and the strobing product. Um, I don't dislike it, I think it is beautiful, but it is extremely, extremely glowy. So if you are the ultimate highlighter lover, for you I think this definitely, definitely will be worth a splurge. It's beautiful packaging, it's gonna be a lovely limited edition collection. Um, it is 69 pounds, so I think if you're someone who's not as keen on quite full on highlights, then this might not be worth a splurge for you. Um, again, they blend beautifully into each other, that's one thing that's worth noting, and generally, um, I think the products I have tried before from the Hourglass palettes have always impressed me. So yeah, I think this was a little short but sweet one. Um, let me know if you would like to see a full Hourglass worth a splurge. So I'd absolutely love it if you would subscribe, guys. I'm very, very nearly at 40,000, and if we get to 40,000, I have something very, very special planned. So hit that subscribe button below, like it if you liked it, and tell me what else you'd like to see in this series. Thanks so much, guys, bye.